Welcome to Long Arm Wednesday. I'm Laura Lynn of the Mama Pop Quilt Shop, and we're very happy to see you here today. Today, we're finishing up our Patreon winner, Lynette. This is her quilt, and she chose the backing, uh, the batting, and the thread, and the stitch out. So we have a big, huge, uh, it's four maple leaves, all kind of intertwining as it stitches along. And you should be able to see some of it as it goes towards the back. You can see it on that beautiful red flannel. And this was called Petite Points. Uh, French General is the fabric, and we did it as part of our Patreon. We did it for uh, a couple of months and showed how to put the blocks together and how the code comes together and how uh, they had options to, if I wanted, they wanted the extra fabric that was for left over in the kit for binding, I could use that as border and use all the extra bits from the project as a mixed binding. So that was her choice and she loved it. So I'm very excited. Thanks, Lynette. All right, so we're just gonna let Walt continue to stitch out his little pattern here. And I have a dark red thread, so it would really show up on this beautiful red flannel. It's more of a lighter, but it does have shades, shades of different color in it. And it's gonna be lovely and luxurious, and I can't wait to mail it off to her. Can't wait. There's always stray threads. Why is there always stray threads? <laughs> yeah, I, it's a very beautiful project. It didn't take very long. It seemed very complicated when you're looking at the hexagon and you're like, okay, well, how do I do that? <laughs> and I just built it as each row. Some would think I did it on point, but I didn't. It was as each row went. So you added, you had your hexagon start here. Then you added these little three pieces here. Then you add your fabrics in between. And then this lighter piece is up here. And then fabrics in between. And then the lighter pieces and then the fabrics to top it all off. And then as you're going along making the block, you need to square it up, but you have to put it on the 60 degree, okay? You just put your seam on the 60 and make sure it's getting nice and square as you're going. Because you want nice hexagons when you're done. You don't want no triangles, right? So, but I think this would be great if you have a hexagon cutter kit. You don't always have to make hexagons. You can make this very simple project and just put your big diamonds or, uh, sorry, not diamonds, your triangles in the opposite sides because I built this side, this side, and this side, this side, and then sewed that side together and it went like that. And then we built out extra pieces because they actually had you cutting this in half in the kit. Uh, uh, and I'm like, I don't want to cut my hexagons. <laughs> I put a lot of work on those. I'm not cutting them up. So I used the extra triangles that they had for you to cut for these pieces. And I built it out and built it out and then just squared it all off at, at another piece. So I don't think it's going to take away from the whole pattern. So, and I think it's, it's just going to, it's going to make it prettier. That's all. Use the fabrics available. Keep all those beautiful hexagons. So the kid actually had this as 50 by 62, but in the end here, we're looking at 63 by 60. So I think, I think we did pretty, oh, actually, no, it's not 63, it's uh, 68. Sorry, it's 68 by 62. So that, that bulked it up quite a bit, quite a bit. Great lap quilt, great cuddle quilt for the uh, for the couch, or even if you just want to lay it across the, the bottom of the bed. I can't wait to, to figure out where she puts it. I love to see where all the quilts that we give away here at the Mom Pop Quilt Shop to our fans and our viewers and our friends and loved ones. I'd love to see where they end up. I want to see, you know, even if the dog's sleeping on it, I want to know. No. <laughs> Maybe I don't want to know. <laughs> but I made Sophie a quilt, so it's okay. <laughs> Doggies need quilts too. Just don't put them under the car. <laughs> put them in the car. Yeah, isn't that beautiful? I love it. I really enjoyed the challenge of this project. This was a kit from Craftsy, but Craftsy is no longer anymore, so you can probably maybe able to find it via Blueprint, uh, but I'm not entirely sure. If uh, somebody's looking for the details of it, we could be able to put it in the comments. Okay. Isn't that beautiful? Beautiful, beautiful fabrics here. I love the tones and how they play off of each other. It's lovely. It's lovely. Very nice. So we'll let 
Walt stitch it all the way out, and uh, I'm going to do something. Uh, there's a little bit of a, a swirly leaf uh, pattern for borders, and I'll do that probably on the outside part here. So, just wanted to concentrate on getting the center part done, and then I was trying to decide. I thought maybe uh, cross hatching, and I thought, no, no, let's do something a little different. Let's kind of keep with the flow of the inside of the quilt. So, we'll see. Look, I've something a little bit different in the borders, though. Off it goes. It's got two more maple leaf uh, sections or big squares to stitch out, and then uh, and then this this one's this this part of it is done. Thanks everybody for watching, liking, and subscribing, and uh, don't forget to check us out on Patreon. We got a new kit coming up for February, and it's bright and beautiful colors. Tis a tis. So who's going to win all the color? Got lots of color this year. Ooh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Hope you have an amazing Wednesday. We are probably about two feet deep in snow by this time. <laughs> Love that stitch out. One of my favorites. And it's not just because I'm Canadian. I do like maple leaf. I like maple. I like maple syrup. <laughs> All right, I'll let you finish watching Walt stitch this out. You guys have an amazing day. And uh, don't forget to check us out on the Mom and Pop Quilt Shop Mafia group because I'll post pictures uh, before it uh, gets mailed out to Lynette. So thank you very much. And thank you, Lynette, for being a patron. Big hugs to you from the Mom and Pop Quilt Shop. Take care, everybody. See you later. Bye-bye.